This is Temple OS 5 Minute Random Code Walkthrough, Episode 103, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. Where did God take us today? We are in um, Doll Docks. Uh, Doll Docks put us. Okay. So, this plane, uh, this file is where it converts between plain text and uh, doll doc text. And it looks like at the bottom is, a, uh, is another routine. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. So mostly this is for uh, control T when you go to control T and you uh, change to plain text. But this um, routine is uh, added into this file. Okay, so uh, what we what we have is a document and a string going in. Um, and what it does is it scan it scans for dollar signs. Um, I do believe. I think it has to be a there's there's two variations there's a partial uh, if you print a string with what if you print a string with uh, doll dot commands uh, there one if you only have one dollar sign in there, um, you're going to have problems in many situations. Uh, there's um, this routine that we're looking at. Uh, does not handle partial entries. So what it does is uh, all the all the routine all the uh, doll dot commands are bracketed with dollar signs and what we do we set up the uh, we have character bitmaps which are basically a set of um, characters uh, we based on what mode we're in whether we're in plain text plain text with tab or uh, the regular mode we have a different bitmap now it scans uh, it scans for valid characters and I guess there's more than one it can stop on oh I know what I think it stops on a it stops on a carriage return or if it uh, if it hits a dollar sign uh, or end of file or this is end of string if it gets to the end of the string then the the current entry it's working on it creates a okay so Uh, so the doll docs are uh, linked lists of, or it's a circular doubly linked list of uh, if you're not familiar with doll docs there's text entries, carriage return entries these are, this, it's a circular doubly linked list of these various entries uh, not that many, but well, 40. Anyway, so uh, when it hits, when it hits, this is when you do a, a put s. It has to con it searches if it, if it hits the end, then it generates a text entry. The text entries are um, is up is one line of text or less than a line, a half a line, based on. Uh, if you change colors, then that's half a line. Or if you if you do, we can have links. You you knew we can have links, right? Anyway, so uh, now if uh, if it's not the end, so basically it scans for uh, valid characters. Then when it, when it hits an invalid one, if it's the end, it it makes a new entry. If it's not the end, it uh, 
it checks pointer 2 is the character at the start of the scan and pointer is at the end of the scan so J is the number of characters that were processed during this chunk we make a text entry for that and for those characters those all go in one text entry there's no dollar signs dollar sign is uh, is not allowed let's see uh, we can have a ASCII 5 is a cursor oh if the current uh, location of the cursor is in this entry then uh, we break it in half so a curs cursor is a separate entry so if so if this line has a cursor in it then it gets broken in half anyway and uh, for uh, for some special characters there's the cursor form feed tab dollar sign let's talk about dollar sign that's the special one so um, some of the some of the characters um, tab is is tab causes a tab entry form feed causes a page break entry let's look at dollar sign if you get two dollar signs then that's how you signal a uh, uh, a dollar sign character and looks like we scan until we hit the second dollar sign it's not allowed to have uh, anyway so if 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 we got to the if if it's not the end I think we get an error if we get to the end I think we generate an error no it doesn't look like we do an error oh I don't know so somewhere in here it should handle two dollar signs uh, in other words uh, oh well so when it processes this entry it it sets the second dollar sign to a zero and then it does an insert uh, oh, okay If pointer one equals pointer two, we we put in a uh, an ordinary dollar sign in the text entry. If it's uh, if it's if it's two dollar signs with text in between, then we call the routine uh, document insert. Oh no, no, I'm wrong. That's a cursor. That's a cursor. cursor here's where it uh, parse dollar sign command that's what I'm talking about the reason this routine is in the plain text is because there's a there's a plain text to convert from text and there's a there's a, there's a routine to convert from text and there's a routine to convert to text so uh, for example like we're looking at this Lex if we go control T that's encoded as a link with a no underline Lex is the tag and the auxiliary string is man page uh, Lex and you see the two dollar signs so parse dollar sign command we pass it a string with a, it remember it converted the dollar sign to a zero at the end so we parse the string uh, it has to parse all the flags do, do you remember when I just showed you this so it has to parse the two character code it has to parse flags it has to parse the tag and it has to parse uh, arguments and it has to convert those to the internal format for the document entries so uh, here it's switching on the uh, document type so for example the link uh, oh these are ones with special attributes anyway well that's I just we we talked about the doc put s